And I just want to express my appreciation to the United States Marine Corps for our present with us, the Ira Hayes American Legion, the Naval Hopi Honor Riders, and also we have co-talkers with us today, and it is always an honor and a privilege to have them in our presence with Chairman Peter McDonald, Thomas H. Begay, Alfred Newman, and Bill Toledo. It is an honor and a privilege to have these co-talkers with us today in our midst of PXP Barachin, Tobit Sok and I saw Tanigi Akehe. Although a now foundation there, Oak and Nitsen, Toba Hip Nitsen, who a call the proclamation be a day the yard or to honor Pia City, Nje, don't get Che, don't get another, by Hip Nitsen of Kavina. The proclamation reads, in honor and recognition of the late Navajo co-talker Key at City, whereas the Navajo Nation is greatly saddened by the loss of the late Key at City who served in the United States Marine Corps, and whereas the late Key at City was a Navajo co-talker, also who served the United States of America, the Navajo Nation, and the United States Marine Corps with courage, honor, and distinction. Served from 1943 to 1945 when he was honorably discharged. And whereas the late Kiet City served as a Navajo Kotar and was stationed in the Asiatic Pacific Theater from 1943 to 1945, fighting in the battles of Guadalcanal, Bokenville, Guam, Saipan, in Iwo Jima, and whereas the Lake Kian City also was a Navajo Kotar, who was awarded the Good Conduct Medal, the Asiatic Pacific Campaign, and the Congressional Silver Medal, and whereas the Navajo Nation unites and offers prayers for his family and friends during this time of grief. Now therefore, as President of the Navajo Nation, do hereby proclaim that all Navajo Nation flags shall be flown at half staff in honor of the late Hope Talker Private First Class, Kiet City, from sunrise on July, on July 22nd to sunset on July 25th, 2015. Ordered this 22nd day of July 2015, the Navajo Nation President. I can't imagine being the son or daughter of a Navajo Hope Talker to know that your father kept within himself a guarded secret of the United States military. These national heroes like Kiet City did not fight with guns and bullets and missiles, but with something more powerful and more sacred, the Navajo language given to our people by the great creator. Now the world is learning about the secret that was protected for years but now is recognized from the office of the President of the United States to Congress, to tribal nations, and nations around the world. And they, the co-talkers, our own people, our blood, our language. So with that, learn your language, hold it sacred and protect it. The world was saved from itself by the beautiful sound of our Navajo people, the Nebuchadnezzar. Live the legacy of Kiet City. Do things courageously, as he did when he was 16 years of age. When the battle is raging, when the Arizona is at the bottom of the Pacific and Hawaiian Islands, when the Jews are being incinerated in Europe, Kiet City signed up. He, was, he, he stepped out courageously. So to live the legacy by doing things courageously. Live the legacy of the key and city by not being afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid to step out like he did and embrace challenges. Embrace challenges like he did. And then last of all, walk by faith. 
Hold on to your faith, live it, and hold on to it because that is what he did. So with that, I present the flag of the Navajo Nation. It is folded with the four with the four with, with, with the four directions. The four sacred mountain, the the four direction, and the four cycle of life. That's why our flag, the Navajo Nation flag, is always folded with the four corners shown. The Navajo Nation is honored to have Kiet City among us for these many years. Thank you.